name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Lord God of hosts, the I am that I am, the one that never changed. Thank you for today. We give you all the glory. We give you all the thanks. You are our Father in the name of Jesus. Father, thank you for opening my eyes to see. Thank you for opening my ears to hear you in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray for those people that will be seeing this video. I pray for those people that, that will be watching this video. Those people that are here, I pray for them in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, thank you because you are God who never fails. Everlasting King, thank you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. You guys are welcome to Cross of God Church for all nations. May the God I serve be with you in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. I'm using this opportunity to, to pray for Europe. I was praying for UK, uh, United Kingdom, and uh, Britain. I remember I was praying for, for, for them, and I'm seeing what is going on. And also, the blast that I was talking about, um, I pray for the family. Is it two people that died in the blast? Uh, the one that happened in uh, the, border, the border between uh, Canada and United States. Did you guys remember about the blast? The blast I saw. If you check your 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 prophecy, where you write your prophecy, you will see. I did not bring it out yet. You guys will see it. It's a blast that happened between the border of Canada and U.S. The Lord told us about it. If you guys check, your, you will see it there. I don't know the, the date, but I'll find it out and um, send it over as a prophecy. So you guys will see the prophecy confirmed. Well, the Lord told me today, as earlier I was, I was explaining, the Lord said, you should put, put what? Put demand on faith. Putting demand on what? On faith. Put your demand on faith. Put your demand on faith. Put your demand on faith. Let's go to Psalm 11. Psalm, the book of Psalm, Psalms. Psalms 11. Putting demand on faith. Are you guys there? Yes. Okay. In the, the Lord... In the Lord, I put my what? My trust. Let me say that again. In the Lord, I put what? In the Lord, I put what? In the Lord, I put my trust. What does that statement mean? Meaning that I have faith in God. In the Lord, I put my trust. How can you say to my soul, flew as a bird to your what? To what? Your mountain. For look, the wicked bend their bows. They make ready their arrow on the what? On the string. And that they may shoot secretly at what? The upright in what? In heart. If the foundation are what? Destroyed. What can the righteous what? Do. Put your demand in what? In the Lord, put your demand in faith. Put your demand, trusting God that God can do things for you. We always say, that, oh, they ask you, I have faith. Faith, I told you, is believing. Believing is faith. Believing is what? Faith. And as you believe, the Lord said, I will reward you because you have diligently have that faith in me. I will reward you. So when you put your demand in faith, the Lord honor his word and reward you. He rewards faith. That you have faith for you to say, God, I cannot do it. I come to you. First of all, before you come to God, the God you cannot see. That is faith. God reward that process. That, say for you to recognize that he exists. That is faith. Now put in your demand. That means your, your, your prayer has been answered. But the problem people have is that they don't put their demand. Let me give you an example. Sometimes there's a process. When you... You put, uh, I don't know, maybe they, they still have CDs. CDs, you know the CD plate? 
CD, CD plate. Immediately you put the CD plate in uh, the CD player, you are expecting to see something. Is that not true? Immediately you put the CD, you know you bought a CD and say, oh, even a CD, it might be CD compact for music. It might be CD audio or video. Immediately you put it, you are expecting something. In your computer, in your laptop, the same thing. When you take your flash drive, you know there's something in that flash drive. You cannot see it. Physically, you are holding just uh, a plastic. Now it's plastic or a metal. Immediately you slot it inside. You know there's information that is coming out that you want to see. You all recognize. Yes. You recognize there's something that is good you are going to see. If that thing is empty, you said it's empty. Why? Because you understand there's something there. Now the same thing, when you put demand to your faith, there's what we call expectation. And the Lord said, our expectation cannot be cut short because we have faith in him. Now, when I mean people say, Pastor, what are you talking about? I've, I've, I've put faith that God tomorrow, uh, uh, something will happen. Now, you are putting demand to God to do things for you. You pray that that thing happen at a particular time. Now, if it does not happen at that particular time, don't lose hope. Immediately, some people lose hope. Like, ah, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen because it didn't happen now. At that specific time that you wanted. But forgotten that God has the final say of that thing. Most of us, I'm using myself as an example. Sometimes I pray for things to happen. Now, maybe I said, I'm praying for this month for God to do things for us. The whole month passed. I get like, uh -uh. is my prayer not answering? I thought God answering my prayer. I'm a faith person. Now, it does not, it does not, how will I put it? It affects you as a person, but the God you pray to knows when to answer you at the right time. God does not give you something that cut off. He gives you what flows. When I mean flows, is that it continues. God doesn't want you to say, hey, okay, let me give you an example. When you pray for, you want to buy a car. I'm using an example. You want to buy a car. You want to buy a bike. Now you pray. The bike costs $20,000. And the $20,000, you tell God that you want $20,000. Now somebody came to your house, like a friend, old friend just came. And, said, and came to your house and bring you $2,000. It's like, dude, I remember I hold you $2,000. You are happy that you have that $2,000. But at that particular time, you are telling God, God, I asked for $20,000. Now, that $2,000, you said I'm saving it for, for bike. I said, okay, I wanted more, but you got $2,000. That $2,000 might be to keep your faith in moving on. You get to another level of faith, that $2,000 might not come. But when God wants to give you, he gives you $40,000 because you have restri restricted yourself. I'm using the word restricted yourself back to God. And say, God, whether you do it or you do not do it, you remain God in my life. The reward is bigger. The reward is bigger. As you go further, the reward is bigger. It's like, let me give you another example. You started a job. And the, before you don't have a job, now you started a job. The job they are paying you uh, maybe uh, $20 per hour. And as they are paying $20 per hour, your want, your human want, is limited to that $20 per hour. Immediately, they start paying you $50 per hour. You now know that the couch you have in your house it's not a, it's not authentic. This couch is not authentic. I need leather. You start, you, you said you are moving higher. The same way, faith is supposed to be like that for us. God answer the simple things as you move further. You put demand on faith. God, I know you can do this. I know you can do many things as you're holding. He said, I know my God. He answered prayer. He answers prayer. Good, you good or bad, the Lord answers our prayer. As you put the man, you put the man in faith. At that particular time, it might not happen. Doesn't mean that it will not happen. 
It will surely, surely happen. The Lord tells me some things. I always tell you, the, the, tell, tell you, tell, tell me some things. That sometimes when I tell people in those days that this is what the Lord tell me, they said I'm building castle in the air. It cannot exist. So it get to a time. I told them, I said, at least you know that I'm building castle and it's in the air. That means one day it's going to come down. <laughs> at least you guys said I build castle. I, at least in the air. That means it never exists. Eh? As you said so. The earth, the Bible said what? The earth did not exist. It did not exist. Now it's existing. I'm just telling you, so don't give up on God. That, oh, I'm giving up. Immediately you have faith in God. Keep holding on to faith. Keep holding on to faith. You put your trust in God and it's a rewarder. He's a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. You guys want to, let's let, go to Hebrew. Let's go to Hebrew. Let's read that Hebrew for, for you so you understand. Hebrew chapter 11. Verse 6. Are you guys there? Yes. What did he say? Did you guys get it? Yep. He's a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. That means don't give up. Continue. Don't say, oh, because God did not answer at this particular time. That means God will not answer you. God is preparing that thing for you. He's preparing that it will not cut off. You are asking for God to give you something. Oh, man, I'm so lonely. You are lonely. And I'm looking for a, a man or I'm looking for a woman in my life. And immediately you start doing that. There's like, ah, let me see. How is God going to answer my prayer? All this while you have been waiting. And the Lord, you think that the Lord did not know your heart. He knows you have been seeking. He wants to give you that one that you guys are together. You are smiling. I said, God, thank, thank you. You can say, you can say this. And say, God, I, I, I give you thanks for bringing this person to my life. Thank you. He said, those that wait upon the Lord, it will, it, God will re renew their what? Great. Strength like an what? An eagle. Then the, there's a mount of what? There's a mount. Yeah, have you seen the eagle? Eagle, no matter how the crow try to, 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 to kill or to destroy the eagle, what do, does the eagle do? It, the, the crow try to perch on it, the eagle. The eagle soar. It goes up. More faith. More faith. Instead of going down. Oh, this crow has come upon me. And you said, push. no, you, 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 you come up. You said, eh, I prayed. I know my father answered. And be, they said, ah, but you said it's going to happen today. Eh, doesn't mean that he doesn't answer. That means he has a perfect day for that, that prayer that I pray to answer. Sometime again, you just pray and you see there, you're like, ah, no. It, it, look at it, it's happening. But sometime again, it happened. There's a, a great man of God in the Bible. His name was Elijah. They saw Elijah, they saw Elijah call fire from heaven. And the fire came to consume that. Immediately, they saw it immediately. The same Elijah, the Bible recorded what? That Elijah put, put his knee on the ground and started praying. God, let it, let it rain. God, let it rain. God, let it rain. He was putting demand on God. It takes time for that rain to now fall. This is the person that called fire instantly and fire came down. Putting demand in your faith does not mean that God will not answer your prayer. God answers your prayer. He answers your prayer. But don't use your time to explain to God or to judge God that God should do it at that particular time. It is your faith. Your faith increases. Maybe God wants to get you more to, to, to know him at that particular time. To pass that level of faith. I learn every time that I see things happen to me. I, I learn and I will smile. 
So the same thing to the Christians. When you are putting the man to faith, God responds. He responds. I pray that many of you, that Lord will open your eyes to see. It responds to that faith. It responds. He said, first of all, he told you already. He said, but, but, there's a but. Without faith, it's impossible to please him. You, can, you cannot come to me without having faith in me. I will not answer. You don't even have faith in me. How will I answer your prayer? He said, but, he said, but without faith, it's impossible to what? To please him. For he who come to God must believe that he what? He is. At least you believe that he exists. And that he is what? A rewarder of those who diligently seek him. People are laughing at you. Oh, they are going to church. That church. Oh, you, church. Church. You, church. You, you, you of all people. Hmm? You sinner. <laughs> who, you, 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 you just laugh and look at the person. Then who do you need to go to church? What do you mean? Go and read your Bible. The people that go to church is sinners. What? Eh, I know I'm a sinner. That's why I go to church. Really? Yes. Yeah. I cannot do it myself. That's why I'm going to church. Yeah. Do you think that church is a, is, is a, is, is a place that where perfect people? No. He said, the Bible said what? It's a, it's a place where God perfect his saints. He called them saints because they come to know him. Not because they are perfect. He came. Immediately you come. You come to recognize the truth. Anybody, I told you, I've been telling anybody that comes and judge you and said that place is not for God. That place, anywhere they said they start judging you, that you know that place, uh -uh, God does not, God is not there. I told you a story about a man. Every time when the man comes, he sits at the back of the church. An old man sits about behind the church every day, every day. So the pastor will look, 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 ah, this guy. And when he comes, he will sit with tall clothes and sit there. So he got angry one day, and he was preaching, and told the man, he said, every day you come to this place, what are you coming to, to do in this place? Look at the way you dress. And he said, he said, at least, you know, look good. And the man said, you know why I come to this place? He said, why? He said, because there's no God here. If there's God here, he would have changed my situation. God is a rewarder of what? Faith. You have faith. He's a reward. He told you, if you come in faith, I will reward you. God doesn't need perfect people to come. If you read the Bible from Genesis to Revelation, the Bible recorded it. It said, <laughs> when God wanted to choose the king in the time of David, he look, 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 look. Imagine, they say, ah, this one, David, elder brother, is a general in the army. He's well suited. Look at him. Ah, the Lord did not pick him. He went to one radical, rascal, in the bush, chasing, fighting lion. That's the one he picked to be a king. And the Lord called him a person after his own heart. Huh? And we saw... We saw the stories in the Bible. We read about, uh, about David. Go and check. Look at Solomon. Go and check all the old people that God said, ah, this one. Check them. And you'll be like, huh? This God, I don't know. Why? Oh, I don't understand this God. He said, those people, they have faith in me. I will reward them. I will reward them. And it is when you start coming, coming to God, that is when God starts cleaning you. Now, when people now see you, they say, ah, ah. Said, let me tell you. We, we, they will tell you that you are holy. We know that you are holy. And you are looking at yourself. <laughs> me? Holy? Why? You have been coming. The Lord has been perfecting you. You don't even know it. You are, the things you used to do, you stop doing them. It's like, I, I don't even. Eh. And you are talking to somebody that was like in your shoe before. You are talking to them now. And they are looking at you. <laughs> and you are like. They say, ah, no, you are holy. You don't understand. And you're like, really? The Bible told us about Jesus came. God himself showed up as a man. Look at the people that became his disciple. Look at the greatest, one of the greatest men of God. He was the prosecutor of the Christian, killing them. Paul, he was looking for Christian to kill. 
and look at his life. When he was explaining life, like ah, uh, Paul said, ah, uh, Paul even called himself. He said he's the greatest sinner. He is the greatest. All this one, you guys are saying, I'm the greatest. And David, David in his own time called himself the greatest sinner. And these are the beloved of God. So what are you talking about? He said, put your demand in faith. Put your demand in faith. He is a reward of those who diligently seek him. Put your reward. Immediately you have that trust in him. In no matter cause, no matter any situation. Ah, it's for God. He said, oh, because I've done a mistake. As I always tell people that say, I've done a mistake, I won't go to church. Eh? Go and ask David. Just read the book of David. That guy, his own is like this. Mistake, 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 mistake. But there's many things he knows. One thing that he knows about, 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 about life that he runs to God and says, God, you are not going anywhere. You are my father. You are not leaving me alone. Every time you see David, now we are reading, we read David, we read, we read, we are reading Hebrew. We are reading for those people that have faith. We saw Abraham. He got to a time, his wife had to force him. Honey, see, I'm getting old. Hmm? You see, we have a house get, we have a maid here. Please, this maid, I don't care, just, just, just anything you do, just. Uh, honey, but God said, God said, I'm going to. I'm going to bless, I'm going to bless, I'm going to bless, I'm going to, God said, I'm going to bless us. Babe, I know, I know, I know you have faith. I know you have faith. God said, you say, you have been saying, God said, God said, God said, God said, I'm 99 now. Eh, you don't understand. I'm not, I'm not doubting you that you don't have faith. You have faith with God. Eh? You have your wife, I understand. Just have, so they will, your name will not die off. Just Abraham. Oh, she's beautiful, look at her. And she got pregnant. After some months, the 90 year, 99 year old woman got pregnant. And the character of a woman came out from her. When I mean the character of a woman, what is that? Her jealous nature came out. <laughs> and said, hey, mm -mm, don't collect my husband from my hand. Don't collect my husband. Come and carry up. <laughs> now, please leave. The, <laughs> the Bible recorded that this woman trained this child to be an adult before she left the earth. I saw a story of a woman. She's a 61. She gave birth. Whoa. 61. She gave birth. 61. Wow. Now tell me, you think God does not know what he's doing? 60 year, 61 year old woman gave birth. It's like, 61, I'm 61. Yeah, you gave birth. Uh, and not that human beings will not laugh at her. If they see the woman, they'll say, ah, is that your grandmother? <laughs> Human being with their mouth, they will still say something. But God honors His word. Imagine how many years they have been married together, and the man is still telling them, "God said, God said, God said." But your situation will not be like that. Your situation, God takes care of it. He said, "As you come, as you come." If God said, "I'm going to do this," He's going to He's going to do it. You have put the man. You have trust God. People are laughing at you. You trust God. Good, just. Keep saying it. Don't stop. Yeah. Don't stop. You are this is a rewarder. He is a rewarder. He is a rewarder. <laughs> he is a rewarder of them who diligently seek him. <laughs> Let me let me let me read the, this place, please. In your Bible, let's let's uh, I will jump. Let's go to verse eleven. Go to verse eleven. Let's read. Let's read the story about Sarah. I just explained. Let's just read it a little bit. No, we know Hebrew, Hebrew, Hebrew chapter eleven. I'm jumping to what? Over to uh -huh. verse, let's go to verse eleven. Are you guys ready? 
By faith, Sarah herself also received strength to conceive seed, and she bore a child when she was what? The past the age, because she was judged him faithful who had what? Promise. He kept his word. That's what I'm telling you. That they said he has passed 99 years. Wait, what are you talking about? <laughs> no one is overpassed. He said, therefore, from one man and him as a good, as what? As dead. When he bore what? As many as what? The stars of the sky. In multitude. Innumerable. Innumerable as what? As the sun, which is by what? The seashore. This all die in what? Faith. <laughs> uh, putting the man in, in faith is a, is a thing. They, they look at the way the Bible reads. That's the way they describe that story. I told you, it's come to a time when Sarah is tired. Uh -uh, I know. I said, you will say, you, you, you get to a time. God said, if you have wife, you understand. God said, Mm -hmm, mm. God said, eh, God said, no, I'm trying to help you. He said, but God said, I'm trying to help you. I don't want people to call us laughing. We have become a laugh, laughing stock. You have become a laugh. You, you yourself, you, your, your, your own nature, nature has made you to understand that that particular age, uh, is it the, uh, the man, is it men, menopause age has passed? Overpass, and here come a man of God and said, "The Lord said you have a child." <laughs> Imagine the sixty-one-year-old woman who say, "Pastor, I know, I know." <laughs> he said, "God said you have a child." I know, Pastor. I know. I, it's not that I don't love God. I love God. <laughs> There's, a, there's some story that you will hear. It, it will marvel you. Like, you are just like, what? This is not real. But it's real. It's real. They tell you something. They tell you, like, <laughs> they said, I don't have a womb. And you said, <laughs> the Lord sent me a message and said, go and tell her that you have a child and you'll be pregnant. Wow. Pastor, you don't understand. I had a, they, they tell you the story. And you said, God said. Huh? Pastor, you don't understand. My husband is a pastor. I said, God said. Wow. And God, God always proves his word. If he's the one that sent you, he will show up. He created man out of no, ah, yeah, yeah. out of nothing, he created the whole world. I told you, the whole world. Science have told us this is the earth. The earth move around like this. And the sun is here. So people here, a part of it cannot see night or day. It's just that. And we saw it and we saw that it's true. And they said there's no other planet that exists that they have tried to go. They have sent machine now trying to do that oxygen exists. They tried, they did not see oxygen. They have been searching now for, for years now. Oxygen does not exist in those planets they have gone. They said, oh, we still want to check. And the God you serve told you that I created this earth. I created it. The place I did not put man, nothing exists in that place. You don't understand. He created all those things that we cannot even see. There's some animal, animal that exists on this earth that human being doesn't know. It exists, it's there. Some creature, if you, if they tell you that he exists, it's like, I'm like, no. And the, the best thing that people will tell you is, that, is an alien. We saw some character of movie that we watch. There's a, is it Predator? And they use the design was from, is it from cockroach and others? They designed it and bring it out. And people said, yes. Somebody with his brain designed it, was designing it with the animal he sees and combine it together. People said, I told you that alien exists. Look at this. How, how can somebody imagine this? 
forgotten that the God that created us gave us imagination that cannot be stopped. He gave us that imagination. People will design something. I told you some years ago, if you watch this cartoon, Tom and Jerry, this uh, limo, limo, have you seen limo, long limo? They would do it. In, I, we used to laugh those days. We say, ah, how can this type of thing exist? Now it's like, ah, it's normal. It's a normal car. Those days now, some people are, are sitting, sitting down, doing AI. They said there's a, a, AI from the, in 1980s, we only have four small computers. Now we have screen that talks. They take this, they say all those type of things. Why? Imagination that we can create. This is the God that can do things, that give us ability. He said, if you put demand in me, I will give you more things. More things that you cannot, you cannot imagine. You cannot imagine. This is our God. This is the God we serve. I told you, man is still discovering his environment. We are still discovering new things that is all around us. You understand? I saw somebody made, made a box, like a, a dispenser that collects water from the air. It takes oxygen and combine it and form water. So the dispenser doesn't use water. It uses water from the air. He used water from the air. They made another one that takes water to, for agriculture. On the air, just water will just come. Any money do will fall upon that and to collect it as is like gallons of water. Wow. And plant will absorb it and send it back to the atmosphere. And say photosynthesis. Like, whoa. Idea. The God. Why? We have put demand in this God. He gives us more things, but we don't understand it. We are still lacking, lacking behind, still chasing what does not exist. When we're supposed to chase what exists, the Lord God we serve. I told you the most strongest people on this earth is Christians. Until they start recognizing it. That they pray to a God that answers prayer. The one that created, imagine, if you know that your father Let's, let me use the American president. Your father is the American president. Because American president is the number one in the whole world. Really. He can go to any country. Any country. Now, I'm telling you, this is true. Even the Pope can enter some country, but the American president will enter a country. If you want to enter a country, whether good or bad, he will enter. I'm saying this to you. Imagine you know that your father is the president of the United States. You know you'll be on the news all the time. You do good or you do bad. You know you'll be there. What am I saying is that your father, the creator of heaven and earth, is your father. Imagine that. Immediately you start recognizing that and you pray to this father of yours, let me put it like that, and he hears you. Say, ah, don't worry. I will talk to my father. My father will fix it. Ha. Your father will fix it. Uh, yes. Just, uh, just go. Just go. You have come to understand that reality. You have bring heaven on earth. Your faith, putting demand on your faith is like that. You miss some man of God. They say some word. They do some things. They say, oh my God, this is amazing. And you, the man of God will tell you something. You'll be like, how did he know? How did this... He has put that demand. He has bring heaven on what? On earth. Wow. Amen. If you begin to recognize this truth, you see how your life will be. That when you put that faith, you put demand on your faith, you will see how things will be. Please permit me. Let me, let me finish reading this. Verse 13. He said, this are all dead in what in faith, not having what received the word the promise, promises, but having seen them afar off, we are assured of them, and and what embrace them and what confess, confess. Did you see the key word there? Confess. See, God told them they can't see it, they can't see it, but they confess it from afar. They don't ah it. God told them that they exist, but they can't see it. But what makes it exist is that they confess it. That is faith. We cannot see God. If you have seen God, I say, oh, I saw God yesterday. 
I saw God, God was going to Walmart. <laughs> Say, hey. People will start looking at you. Say, did you give him his med today? Have you guys taken him to a psychiatric hospital? Or where will you take him? Did you take him to Ward 4? Ward 4. <laughs> the psychic patient are there. <laughs> ward 4 in memoria. <laughs> ah! When you begin to understand, you are keeping demand on this God. He's telling you, imagine what they will be saying to Sarah and Abraham. Imagine the laughter. Said, uh, God told me, I'm going to have a child. Grandma. Grandma. Grandma, you are not you are not 60 anymore. <laughs> Grandma, you are not 70. <laughs> you are not 80. Grandma, you are going, you are 90 now. <laughs> Imagine a, a, a 90 year old woman come to tell you, my daughter, the Lord said I'm going, <laughs> I'm going to have a child. You first look the grandma. Is he you start asking questions? What do you, is it amnesia? How do you pronounce that word? Amnesia. Am, amnesia. Alzheimer's. Uh, Alzheimer's, yeah. Said he has Alzheimer's. I yeah, know. How old is it? 90? He said yes. <laughs> and that time, the, the Bible said not 90. Imagine, Im, okay, let's, let's say, imagine that a 90 year, 90, 90 year old woman said the Lord said, You want to blame Sarah? Sarah, you won't blame Sarah at that age. Now, the Bible says 99. Let's go. Let's continue. Having seen them afar off, we are what? Assured of what? Them. Embrace them and confess that they were what? Strangers and pilgrims on what? On the earth. Did you see that? That's how they, they, they are saying it. For those who say such things declare plainly that they seek a what? A homeland. And truly, if they had called to what? To mind that country from which they had come out, they would what? Have had opportunity to what? To return. But now they desire a what? A better that is a heavenly what? Country. They, therefore, God is not ashamed to be what? Called their God. For he has what? Prepared a city for what? For them. By faith, Abraham, when he was tested, offered up Isaac. Another one again. <laughs> and he was, he, he who had received what? The promises, offered up his what? Only begotten son. Of whom it was said, in Isaac your seed shall be called what? Sh he said what? The, okay. Of 18, let me read that. Take that 18 again, sorry. Of whom it was said, In Isaac your seed shall be called. Verse 19. Concluding that God was able to raise him up, even from what? Death. From which he also received him in what? In <laughs> Ah, I love God. That is how he tested Abraham. Abraham is the only man in the Bible that received receive righteousness without the Holy Spirit. All the rest, go and read your Bible. Abraham received faith because of all these things that God, first of all, he promised Abraham, I'm going to give you a son. The son, for, for the whole 99 years later, he now have a son. After he now have a son, the son gets to a certain age. Let's make it 16 or 17. And the Lord says, sacrifice your son, that only son, to me. But God told him that this, your son, out of him, I will bring a lot of things Come and give me the son. And Abraham again went. I believe he did not tell Sarah. I believe so. Mm. Wow. Whether you like it or not. I didn't see it. <laughs> he did not tell Sarah. Right. Gather wood. I said, ah, Isaac, come, let's go. Right. Isaac, let's go. Let's go. Because one thing, Sarah would have told him that he's mental. Wow. 
I waited all these years. And now you are telling me that the same God told me to go and sacrifice yourself. I know, I know there's something I do. Isaac, ma, please, go into the room. Let me talk to your father. <laughs> Let me talk to this, your father. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just telling you, this is human nature. Our nature does not comprehend most of the things that God tells us. When God tells you there's a road here, and you see that there's a mountain, and I said there's a road there, you start looking and say, eh? That is, I want to tell you something today. My faith that I have in God is blindfolded faith. You understand? I've learned it from blind, I'm like blindfolded. When God said go, they said there's no road. The only thing I tell you, if, if I hear go, and God said go, I'm going. They said there's no road, there's mountain, there's this, I'm going. That is one thing I understand. That's my faith. If God said go, I will go. If God said do, I will do. As long as the Lord is the one speaking, I will do it. Amen. I've seen, I remember I told you those days, I've, when, <laughs> when God began, uh, first appeared to me and began to tell me about the ministry, start telling me things. I thought I was a little bit, uh, you know, mental. How can somebody like me? I said a different thing. And the Lord began to show up. I will go to a place. People start shouting, man of God, man of God. Ha, ministry did not start. How do you know I'm a man of God? So God told them, hey, okay, the God that is talking to me is the one talking to you too. They say, yes, hey, okay. And like that, like that. So I've seen God later. In all those things, I was seeing God. But later now, God now... For because of blindfolded faith, God now said, okay, I want to show you heaven. He started showing me, okay, this is not only this one that now happened this year. To show me, the, to, hey, to meet the elders. And now see, uh, uh, this is, this is, uh, this is, this is, this is, ah. Uh, uh. He now told me again, he said, every of your meeting, the elders will sit. As I, I'm telling you this, I'm saying this again, that I could know that they are watching me as I'm preaching now. Yeah, okay. And the Lord said, not only that, I'm not stopping there. I'm giving you more things. Yeah. Let me show you. And I begin to meet the elders. Ah, ah. Ezekiel. Ah, ah, ah. Hey, Enoch. Ah. Uh, now, my faith increases. More. I want to see more. More of those things that if I say to a human being this is what I saw it's like I'm like okay what is this guy saying is he alright you even I told you he's giving you an example telling you this is Abraham because Abraham put demand on faith the same thing I'm doing today I'm putting demand on faith and the same thing I'm, I'm telling you I'm giving you this advice put demand on faith don't waver, continue. It might sound stupid. It might sound useless. People, people hear it, they think you are mental. But as long as it's from God, God will do it. Amen. I told you about a professor of mine. She's retired now. This professor of mine, and I went to her class. She believed in these uh, gods that have, have six hands. If you go to office, you will see it there. He said, this is our God. I said, okay. He said, you say you're a man of God. I said, yes. He said, Can you, my, I'm crying. I said, yes, I know you are crying. Tell me about it. He said, my children, two children that I have. I said, eh, what do you want me to do? He said, pray to your God for them to come back. To, 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 to come back. One, one is on drug and the other one is on, uh, doesn't want to go to school. The girl doesn't want to go to school. But when she was growing up, she said she wanted to be a medical doctor. I said, eh, is that all? Eh, yes. Don't worry, I will pray. But before I pray, do me a favor. The Lord said, in the morning when you wake up, call their names. That's all. Call their names. I said, are you sure? Yeah, call their name in the morning. So she did it for one week. Nothing happened. The second week, she got mad with me. I said, ah, nothing happened. I said, eh. I said, no, 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 don't worry. In the class, you will look at me. Years later, I went to the office to see her. She told me, Moses, I'm retiring. I said, oh, congratulations, your husband. I'm like, yeah, yeah. He said, can I tell you something? I said, what? He said, my, my son is, is an accountant. 
your what? My son went to school. He's an accountant. He's a chartered accountant. My daughter is a, is a, is a medical doctor. He's in Nabakoki. <laughs> I walk, I walk out of that office. Mm. This is my God. This is the God I serve. This is I am that I am, the one that never changed. The same God yesterday, today, and forever. I put a demand on faith. I put a demand on faith. Put your demand on this God that I speak. Put demand, whatever you want. Talk to God. Don't be afraid. He's not going to be afraid of you. Neither will he be shy of you. Neither will he be ashamed of you. Because you have put demand on him. He is God. He never changed. Put demand on God. Or put demand on God. And the demand I'm talking about is faith on him. He is faith. He, he rewards those that come to him in faith. People might laugh at you, but remain consistent in the word of God. Remain, don't change. It's not showing up doesn't mean that it will not happen. He told you about them, how their life, how their life, how the life of a man that was given righteousness because of faith. You see, most of us, this is true. If God tried me with all this one, I know I will fail woefully. What the trials, the test that he tested Abraham, I will fail. Oh. Because I, I won't, I'm just telling you. But Abraham continued. The Bible recorded, he said there's a man, a king that called Abraham. He said Abraham, Abraham of what? The most high God. That's what he referred to Abraham. So everybody know about that faith. This is the man that his wife, 99 year old woman, gave birth. Said he believed in that God. Ah! The Bible recorded, he wanted to bury Sarah. He wanted to bury Sarah in that land. He was, the Bible recorded, he said he was richer than the king of that land. Richer than the king. And because he's richer than the king, he went to the king, I want a land, a piece of land, let me bury it. ah. The king said, no, mm -mm, mm -mm. you are not buying any land. I'm giving you the land for free. Since you came to this land, things have changed for us. Huh? You're, he has come to that level, that level. Permit me to use this word, of phonesis. He has come to that level of phonesis. He, he, he is called deeper knowledge of God. He has come to it. When God said, yes, it will happen, whether it takes time. The same thing I'm telling you. Whether if God said, yes, if God said, I tell people, if a man of God tells you something, hold the word. Hold it. Hold it. Any word that a man of God gives me, I'm always holding that, holding it. And I'm telling God, direct, direct me. And if I believe that that man is a real man of God, I'll hold it. I'll hold it. The same thing I'm telling you. When God gives you word, hold it all. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. Said so If God said, you are going to be blessed, just take it that um, they say, the God, you know, the man of God said it, and I'm holding it. And people are saying, you... Look at you, look, look, look at your life. And you're saying, God said, I go for yeah, 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 yeah. the Lord told Joshua, He said, I will be with you. Joshua has put demand on God. And God, and God said, I will be with you. Be encouraged, I will be with you. Because people will laugh at him. You are not Moses, and you want to do things. You are not Moses. They would have told him plenty of times. You are not Moses, you are not Moses. But what did he do? The Bible recorded to show the God that told him. He said, we will win this war. We will win this war. Not only will we win the war. You see this son has to stand still till we finish the war. Eh? You command, are you God? They will first tell you, are you God to command the son to stand still? And he told the son, son, stand still. And the son stayed. I'm putting light on this one until they finish the war. And they won. Why? He put demand on God. God has told him already. I will be with you the way I'm with Moses. I told you people would have told him, are you Moses? The same thing told them, they will tell you, oh, are you Jesus? Where you, how can you say all, all kinds of things? Are you God? They would have told you those things. 
Are you, are, are you the first Christian? I told you this. I was telling, I don't remember you guys. I, my wife told me something. We went to the fair. I'm saying this again. We went to the fair. And the fair, rain one, babe, is it rain one, one to four? Storm. And they, said, they started shouting all those ones. The first one. And I laughed. And she turned and looked at me. She, she, like something just came to her. And she recognized the prophet. And immediately that, she put a demand on God. And I thought, immediately I thought, oh, tell your, she, she said, tell your father. And I turned, I said, oh, it's done. And everything stopped, we were there. Particularly, the storm now came. When the storm came in the night, I was tired. I wanted to go home. That's the only way I could go home. I'm telling you the truth. I wanted to go home. And the storm started coming. They were shouting, see? They were shouting, go, 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 let everybody leave. The storm is coming. So on our way back, I was just laughing. I said, why are you laughing? I said, ah, I told the storm to stop, but I wanted to go home. Let's go home. And I said, no, they said the storm. I said, don't worry. The storm is not coming. And the storm died off. Wow. But I wanted to what? I told her, I said, I wanted to go home. Because if I told you that earlier, you would not allow me to go. You said, let's stay. Put in demand. I recognize the God that hears. They wow. said, oh, pastor. Pastor, um, they, they said uh, uh, that I'm doing magic. That's what it, somebody told me, that I'm doing magic. I don't do magic. I put the man on God. This is what I read. Yeah. And he said he's a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. The same thing. If you start, it might not happen. But as you continue, continue, it will start. It will start. It will start. It will start. Imagine, I'm telling you the truth. Imagine God told Abraham that I will give you a son. If I give you a son, you will sacrifice it for me. Abraham would have told God, God, you see, I know, thank you. The son you said I'm going to do, don't worry, you don't need to give me. I'm just telling you the truth. Abraham would, as a human being, would have said, God, no, 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 don't worry. You know, it's like um, you are praying for a job. As you are praying for a job, you now got a job. And the Lord told you, I will fire you. What will you do? This is my wife. I got a job. I started at work. The day, and I've been working there. And the Lord, I came home. I came home one night. In the morning, I was going to work, and I talked to my wife. The Lord said, "He's going to fire me from this job." This is how. If you, I, I told her, the Lord said, "I'm going to fire," and they came and they fired me. Wow. I left home, supervising that day, and they came. They called me and said, "Oh, sorry, we are going to give you a like. We are going to fire you. There's a mistake. You are supposed to be the one." And I started laughing. I said, "Oh, thank you, God." He told me, and the same, the same day. Why? There's something that God wanted me to, to, to do with my family. That if she would have told me, I won't do it. We went, you see, we went on vacation. Remember that the same, you see, the same time. After that, we went on vacation to, you see, that island. Uh-huh. I will not go. I'm being honest. I will not go. But that time, I don't have any excuse. I didn't have any excuse. And on my way to... On my way, on my way to, to the island, I received a call. And when I received a call, I said, Moses, they said, you, you are not working there anymore. Can you work for us? Uh, no, I'm, can you work for us? Can you start tomorrow? I said, I'm on vacation. Wow. And I came back and I started the other job. Wow. I just want to tell you how God operates. There's a time. Why? Because I've come to that level of faith that I will understand. Amen. That God is the one doing that. But another person, it might not happen to them like that. So Abraham, I told you Abraham, at that time, Abraham would have not handled that. But because Abraham have come to understand God in that years, not 99 years, to handle that faith. So when God told him, bring Isaac, he was not thinking twice because he knows that God is going to provide. And God provided a lamb and he slaughtered the lamb. So I'm telling you, these are the truth. We now saw the story. The same Isaac gave back to this. We now know that in the same line, the 12th tribe of, 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 of Judas, Joseph now collected that, that, that Abraham rope. And, hey! so, ah, there are plenty of, if you see their children, they are scattered all around the world. 
faith, putting the man on faith. This is what we do. I'm asking you, you that are here, those that are watching me, put the man on your faith. Never lose hope on God. God will do it as long as you believe that God will do it. As long as you... People might laugh at you. I'm telling you, people will laugh at you. There's some things that God told me. <laughs> if I say it, you say, Pastor, are you sure? Are you seeing what I'm saying? Or you are seeing different things? But I'm telling you, put, the, put your demand in faith. Put your demand. Don't, don't waver. Stay. If, as long as I'm saying this, so sometime they say, oh, pastor said it. Some people can just say something. And that pastor is not from God. He's preaching, but it's not from God. But if he's a, a true pastor, a true prophet, a true evangelist, a, 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 a true person of God, immediately he tells you that God said, hold it. Hold it. I've seen people that come to me and say, oh, this man of God said, and I know in my heart that it's not from God. But if it's from God, grab it. At the end, it will always prove itself that it's from God. Do you understand? Do you guys understand? Now? So I'm saying put the man on faith in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. My Father and my God, I pray for those that are here. I pray for those that are watching me in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord Jehovah, King of glory, thank you for your word today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As we put demand on faith in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, those that are sick in their body that will see this video, be healed. Be healed. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Those that have been tormented by demon, be, be, be loose in the name of Jesus Christ. You are free in the name of Jesus Christ. You are free in the name of Jesus Christ. My Lord and my Father, I pray for countries in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for, for, for England. I'm still praying for them in the name of Jesus. I'm praying for them. I'm seeing these attacks that are going on in in, in England, I'm praying for them, I'm praying for them, I'm praying for them in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing a South, South American country. I'm seeing a very heavy, heavy riot. A South American country. I'm seeing a, a South American country like with a lot of riot, a lot of riot on the street. They were fighting, going around a South American country. I pray my father, protect your children, protect your children, protect your children in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray for, for, for states around. I'm praying for them. I'm praying for people to be protected from accident. I've been praying for accident. Oh Lord Jehovah, protect your children from accident, accident, accident. My father, protect them, protect them, protect them. For this uh, November to December, protect them all around the world in the name of Jesus. Protect states here in United States. My father, protect, protect, protect them in the name of Jesus Christ. My Lord and my father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray for many that will come to know you in spirit and in truth. Father, all around the world, that they might know you, that you are God. You are God that you never change. You remain, you remain, you remain yesterday, today, and forever. You never change. You are God. You are God. You are God everlasting. My Father, my God, in the name of Jesus. Those that have been tormented in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Any addiction of any drug, any, any drunkard, my Lord, my Father, take it away from them in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray for as many that will hear me in the name of Jesus Christ. Be free. Be free in the name of Jesus Christ. Be free in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing a lady, this lady, I'm seeing like I see like a rope on your neck. You want to commit suicide in the name of Jesus. Suicide would not um, will not help you. If you die you will go to hell. You will go to hell. Sorry, you will go to hell. I'm been telling you honestly until you know Jesus Christ. And those that know Jesus Christ, they don't commit suicide. Don't commit suicide. He does not want it. He does not want it. What you want to kill yourself in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I put a stop to it. I put a stop to it. I, I decree on, on, on earth. And you say whatsoever I decree on earth is decree in heaven. Father, I block every way, every rope, whatsoever it is in the name of Jesus Christ. Let people see her and rescue her in the name of Jesus Christ. Let people be there in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord Jehovah, this be, because of this she has done let it be a testimony to many my father I'm praying for her in the name of Jesus that she will know you and she will become a pastor in the name of Jesus Christ the devil cannot take her away she will be that pastor that the Lord has said in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ father I pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ Lord Jehovah I'm seeing like an ex-president being rushed to the hospital, ex-president being rushed to the hospital. I'm seeing ex-president being rushed to the hospital. Ex-president, ex-president being rushed to the hospital. Also, I'm still saying this, I'm seeing this coming. 
the Supreme Court of United States. I'm seeing somebody leaving the earth. I'm seeing somebody leaving the earth. Supreme Court, I'm seeing somebody leaving the earth. I'm seeing somebody leaving the earth. Oh, Lord Jehovah, I pray for them. Pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, thank you. Thank you. As we celebrate you, Jehovah, King of glory. Thank you. We give you thanks. Thank you, Jehovah, for accepting our thanksgiving. Thank you, our Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Oh, I wanted to invite people that are watching me in Las Cruces here. Those people that are, we send, uh, we'll be, I'll be texting, I'll try to text uh, people for our Thanksgiving on Sunday. I'll be here by 2.30. We'll start uh, singing and singing praise worship and we'll come and eat with us. Come and eat. We are inviting you to come and eat with us. That's what we are doing. Those people in Las Cruces and El Paso, we invite you. It's just Thanksgiving. This is our first Thanksgiving uh, dinner. Come and join us in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I love you, but God loves you most. I will see you on Sunday. In Jesus' name, amen. amen.